sort of hunter tuned if this is your first time here guys be sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if it was helpful at all for you guys i will be linking all these parts in the description of this video so if you want you can pick up um these same parts for yourself all right guys so some of you may know some of you may not know um i do own a 99 um chevrolet silverado 2500 uh, it has the 6.0 liter ls based motor and it has a 4L 80E transmission. I ended up picking all this stuff up because I am turboing that truck. And I kind of wanted to start this build series off with, um, you know, the first step of doing this, and that is buying all the necessary parts. So I'm just going to quickly go over all the parts that I bought and how much it costed for all the parts and give you my impressions. So we are going to start at the top of this pile and work our way down. So the two exhaust manifolds I have up front here are just some old used uh, truck exhaust manifolds off of a LS motor. Uh, these are off of uh, Express Van and I pulled these off at the junkyard. Now you could get these for pretty much free or like $20. Uh, I'm not going to actually include the price of these because I got them for free. Actually, I'm just gonna value them at $20. I wanna have like all this kind of cost um, added into the whole price of everything. So exhaust manifolds, like I said, they're used $20. Uh, what we're going to try to do with this setup is we're going to try to make a turbo manifold out of these. Uh, I got two of them. I got two tries. Hopefully I don't fuck anything up, but I probably will. So be sure to stay tuned and watch me mess all this up. Uh, next down the line uh, that has to deal with the exhaust is this T4 um, flange. Now this is a flange that's going to be able to um, allow you to mount the turbo to the exhaust manifold. Um, and you're going to need to pretty much build something to uh, position the turbo wherever you need it and um, weld that guy on to be able to mount the turbo, like I said. Now, there is other options out there that I actually did plan on doing. Uh, VS Racing now sells a Trick manifold. It's called, it's a Trick brand, um, and it's a log style manifold that pretty much is already built for you, and you can bolt the thing on and not have to build anything. But uh, it does come with a cost. They're around 500 bucks. Um, and there is some other brands out there that also make similar style manifolds like Joey Fowler from Fowler Performance. Uh, he's a little bit backed up right now and he's got the best pricing on him, but I didn't want to wait. So uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of try to build my own um, and see where it takes us. Uh, next piece on the exhaust system is going to be the wastegate. Now this is a Speed Daddy 44 millimeter wastegate and I use these on pretty much every car um, I've ever turbocharged. I've always used the Speed Daddy wastegates. I have the same one on my nine second Fox body Mustang and I used it on the previous two trucks that I turboed and I also have it on my Honda Civic that goes tens in the quarter mile. So this flange right here was, I think it was $25. Uh, I will verify and maybe put something on the screen of how much it costed, but this was about 25 bucks. And the wastegate is anywhere, depending on where you buy it, uh, anywhere between 40 and $60. And it comes with the clamps and flanges to actually weld this onto a piece of exhaust. So next is the turbocharger. Now this turbocharger is a VS Racing 6673, so it has a 66 inducer and a 73 exducer or exhaust side um, i went with this turbo mainly because it's going on a truck with a stock torque converter and i wanted a turbo that kind of spooled up quick and it was good for towing and pulling my uh, race cars like my mustang and my civic uh, i kind of just wanted a turboed tow rig um, if that makes any sense uh, in my opinion it doesn't really pay to try to shoot for quarter mile times and stuff like that with a six thousand pound vehicle um, although I still will be having fun with it and hopefully it does good burnouts and shit like that. Uh, this isn't going to be like a drag monster vehicle. I have other cars for that. So this thing should light up pretty fast. Uh, this has a billet wheel and um, it's a very nice turbo. I run VS Racing turbos on every single one of my cars and they work phenomenal. I also sell VS Racing turbos and I have a website, huntertune.com, where you can actually purchase VS Racing turbos. Um, I don't have all of them listed, but if you have a turbo uh, that you have in mind, you can just always email me at huntertuned at gmail.com and you can inquire about a turbo that way. So next, uh, the turbo actually did come with, um, I actually added on the exhaust clamp and flange. This is uh, pretty much the flange that is needed to go onto the end of the turbo exhaust side to make a downpipe or make the rest of your exhaust. 
uh, to go to a tailpipe or out your fender or whatever you want to do. Um, so I got that. This was an extra, I believe these are an extra like 35 bucks, uh, something like that. And then I also purchased the oil lines. Uh, feed and return kit from VS Racing. Um, you can do this a little bit cheaper. I don't think Varenne is the cheapest on this stuff, but the quality of the fittings and the lines are definitely a lot better than a lot of the other eBay sellers. Uh, so I do still recommend that you guys get this stuff from VS Racing, and I always think it's a good idea to get your oil supply, drain and feed from the seller that has the turbocharger because some turbochargers require less oil and some require more oil. And if you buy what they recommend, a lot of times you won't have failure, or if you do, you can be like, hey bro, you fucked my shit up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> so yeah, these are just like AN fittings for a return line, the flanges that bolt onto the turbo, and uh, all that kind of happy shit. Moving right down the line, I picked up a Walbro 450 fuel pump. This is uh, pretty much a universal fuel pump that you can install in any in-tank uh, setup. So any car that comes with a fuel pump inside the tank, you can make one of these work um, and this guy was about a hundred bucks and will supply, you know, about 550 horsepower worth of fuel delivery on like E85. On pump gas, it'll probably go closer to six, 700 horse. Um, but, uh, it'll be plenty of fuel for what we need on this mild tow build. <laughs> uh, now moving on to the intercooler kit. Uh, this is a pretty much like an eBay universal three inch intercooler kit. Um, I purchased the piping separately and then I purchased the intercooler separate. I believe it's a little bit better to do it this way because I like these 31 inch uh, intercoolers versus a lot of the ones that come with the kits. Sometimes they're kind of odd shaped and odd sized, uh, but these 31 inch intercooler kits usually fit pretty much any vehicle uh, that you want it, that you need. Uh, they, they fit Honda Civics. They fit, I have the same one on my Mustang. I have the same one on my Civic and I have, I'm going to have the same one on my pickup truck. So if that gives you an idea of how universal these things are, um, it should, you know, allow you to be able to, uh, make it work in your application. Now I did have to purchase these couplers separate from the intercooler kit. Uh, these pipes and stuff came with these couplers and those clamps over there, but uh, they did not come with this coupler, which I needed, which is a 90 degree two and a half to three inch um, coupler adapter and this is going to go from the turbocharger to the intercooler piping and then I ne also needed this coupler right here which is a 3.75 to 3 inch coupler which is going to adapt the throttle body on the LS motor to the intercooler piping um, that we bought here. And last but not least I bought a tile replica blow-off valve. This is a 50 millimeter blow-off valve uh, which I also run the same blow-off valve on pretty much all my cars. Same blow off valve on my Civic, Mustang. Uh, I'm just gonna keep saying it, guys. I run all these same parts on pretty much any vehicle I turbocharge, um, with a few exceptions of turbo size, and um, that's about it. <laughs> so this blow off valve is a knockoff tile. Uh, I usually have really good luck with these, and they're about $40 on eBay. Uh, they come with two different size springs. So the one that's pre installed is a fairly soft spring, which is going to allow the blow off valve to go off easier at low boost and you know probably about under 15 psi but i did have an issue with the factory spring that comes with this on my civic at about 14 pounds of boost the boost would start to fluctuate and the blow off valve would start prematurely opening from the back pressure or the boost pressure in the piping um, but they do include this stiffer springs for guys that are running high boost and uh, this when you put this spring in you no longer will have those issues and you'll be able to hold boost much better and it comes with like the mounting clamp here to mount it on your intercooler and uh, flange to weld everything up so you'll have to weld this onto the intercooler piping but uh, it's really not that big of a deal if you can weld aluminum um, otherwise if you can't I usually just have a buddy or take it somewhere to get this process done um, I don't have a TIG welder which I need to invest in so I can do all this stuff myself but one day one day YouTube make me famous Right. <laughs> so that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. Hopefully um, it's a good introductory to the turbo truck build that we are doing. Um, I'm probably going to get right at this and start doing the exhaust and try to make a turbo manifold for you guys. But that's going to be in the next video. Um, like I said, I'm going to be linking all these parts in the description as much as possible and kind of giving you an overview total of how much all this stuff costed. And I will put that on the screen right now. 
of how much it actually costed for all these parts. Now there is some pieces that I did not include. Uh, this is just like the bare essentials to get you going. Uh, there is going to be some added cost. If you cannot tune, um, you'll need to pay for tuning and um, you will also need to buy fuel injectors, but I'm not gonna be doing that. Uh, I also sell decap fuel injectors on my website, which are pretty much a injector that comes factory in these LS motors. And I've done it on the last couple builds that I have. And uh, you pretty much just take the stock fuel injector and you cut the cap off of the end and it triples the amount of flow that it can uh, do for fuel. Uh, turns it from like a 25 pound injector all the way up to a 75 pound injector, which is plenty for what we are shooting for on this build. Other little stuff that may come in, come into play is some exhaust piping and you know fluids. Um, exhaust piping and fluid, uh, I may add into the cost later, um, but I mean that's going to be probably about 100 bucks to 200 bucks depending on what kind of fluid you buy and what kind of exhaust piping you buy. Um, so I may just add in like another 100 or 200 bucks to this cost um, to kind of get you completed. Um, and then some other um, not necessarily mandatory things if you're going to a tuner, but uh, some nice things to have would be like a set of gauges, a gauge pillar, and um, you know like an air fuel ratio wideband gauge. I usually get the AEM um, Uego widebands and they work out really good. So I would recommend getting like an AEM wideband and just like a cheap you know ten dollar boost gauge usually the cheap jdm sport or whatever ones work pretty good um i have that one in my civic and it works pretty good i have the same one in my mustang <laughs> you get the idea so a lot of that stuff might add another you know 100 or 200 bucks but uh, like i said this is just going to be like the basics of how to turbo your truck um you know parts to buy just to get you going so be sure to subscribe stay tuned uh, for updates on this build and uh, i'm very excited to get this thing rolling and uh, i'm going to try to document the process considering the last turbo truck i did got a lot of uh, views on my channel but i didn't really document the process so this time around i'm going to try to document as much of the process as i possibly can um, and try to keep it interesting for you guys but uh, hopefully you learned something today and uh we will see you in the next video, guys. Have a good night.